What a difference a day makes. Blue on blue attacks and the mordant camp talking of dirty tricks. Suddenly they're the best of friends. What's gone on? It's almost as if Liz Truss is very quickly emerging as the front runner in this Tory <laughs> oh, race. Well. And uh, Penny Mordaunt's going from complaining about the various attacks on her character and record that Liz Truss's campaign were making about a week or two ago yeah. in what now feels like ancient history. Um, is now hoping to get a nice spot at the uh, cabinet table. Ah, is that what it is? That there's something being dangled? Oh, I imagine so. But also, um, she said herself, Penny Wanham, when she was backing Liz Truss in what was a rather long speech before uh, Liz Truss actually emerged yesterday, um, she was saying that she was a, she was a signpost, basically. She was um, indicative of where um, the wind is blowing in this uh, Tory leadership race. Remember, in recent days, uh, Truss has already received the backing of other sort of former leadership candidates, such as Naheem, uh, Naheem Sazat. Sahari. The team Zahawi, sorry, it's only, what, 6 15. Um, the <laughs> Chancellor and uh, Tom Tugendhat um, as well. So I think those who uh, are being able to look at the polls, uh, those who think that the party members are very happily plumping for Trump, uh, trust, sorry, not Trump, <laughs> again, for, uh, it's only 6 15, um, who want to remain essentially as part of the Cabinet um, are going for, for trust. But I, I would say the one thing I, I, I would say against that is that this morning we have an interesting poll that's apparently... Um, not necessarily commissioned by, but it's at least been shown to um, the Trust campaign that's on the front page of The Times, um, which suggests that Sunak is now only five points behind um, Trust oh, in right. the polls, um, whereas uh, but a, a week or two ago he was 24 points behind. Um, now, this, isn't sort of, this hasn't been publicly published um, yet, etc. This wasn't directly from the Trust campaign, but it might suggest that the race is tighter than we previously mm. thought. Um, it's interesting you mentioned The Times. It seems they're pretty much the only right-leaning paper that is supporting the Sunak campaign. The Telegraph this morning coming out on their front page in support and endorsing uh, the Trust campaign. We see, of course, um, Ginger Spice, <laughs> Jerry Horner also coming Oh, well, out. it's all over, Jerry isn't it? Yeah, 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 exactly, it's all over. <laughs> so they're all, you know, piling in behind this Trust. And one wonders, is there any chance that Rishi Sunak might decide to bow out and there could be a coronation? I think that's unlikely. Um, I think from what I know, um, having interviewed now both the candidates, um, last week, what I know of both Sunak's sort of commitment to the race personally, but also what his team is saying, um, they believe this fight is very far from over. Um, CCHQ has introduced um, this measure for the first time in this uh, uh, leadership race where candidates, uh, sorry, not candidates, members will be able to vote again um, if they say wish um, online after submitting their ballots, and whichever vote is cast uh, later will be the one that counts. Um, so Sunak and his team believe that they've got a much better ground game than Truss's campaign. He's been up and down the country meeting apparently sort of 2,000 members last weekend alone. Mm. And they believe this race is tighter um, than the headline polls um, might suggest. And if we get more polling evidence like what The Times are, are publishing today, then I, I would not be surprised if actually we go from thinking this is going to be a Truss coronation to a much tighter battle than, say, last time round with Boris versus Jeremy Hunt. Well, that would certainly make things more interesting, wouldn't it, than yeah. uh, how it's looking at the moment.